Howdy gamers, I just wanted to let you guys know before the, the episode started that this episode, the video is going to be kind of whack because for some reason in Discord when I went full screen, after a few seconds, uh, people's faces would start doing this weird like super fast twitchy thing. Like if, you, if you've ever watched a horror movie, how they, they make the, the ghosts... Uh, movements all sort of jittery and fast they were doing that so i couldn't do full screen um so i guess for this episode you'll get to see all the discord servers that i'm in and how they're organized so there you go welcome back to the small member squad podcast i'm your host egg platinum we also have with us young left ssbm yo what it do pussies <laughs> and we also have Spade Official. So, um, you guys like those transaction, uh, transactions? Transactions? Transactions, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I'm just I'm pretty fucking high, I'm not gonna lie. Um, <laughs> yeah, no trend, excuse, uh, see, transitions. I like this podcast over. <laughs> right? I'm normally not this high when I do it. The amount um, of drugs that we do before the podcast, I think, is, uh, Quite a bit, dude. Just stay cool. Okay, so, yeah. so, so, by the time this podcast episode goes up, it would have the twenty seventh would have passed. Zach, how did it go? How was it? Yeah, how was it, dude? How's the how's the stream? Man, <laughs> I really wish I could fucking say anything other than I'm hella stressed out because I still have so much shit to do. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I'm assuming, you know great things but i can all i'm so fucking nervous man like i've never done something like this but it should be dope hopefully it fucking goes hmm. but perfect you know but wait but Zach, it didn't scuffed. it already go by it was like yeah, last week yeah scuffed yeah scuffed scuffed yeah scuffed. Like everything i fucking do <laughs> No, honestly, shit. like I, I hope it, I hope it's sick, dude. We have so much planned. I, I did my, uh, I did two quizzes and my program, uh, today, so that I could help you set up shit tomorrow. It's tomorrow Monday. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Why are we setting Sunday up night. shit tomorrow? <laughs> I mean, all it is is just like plugging in the mic and messing with OBS settings. I don't really get a change. Well, yeah, we gotta probably do a couple other things, but I got majority of the shit set up. I still gotta. So one thing that I don't want to do, but I know is gonna have to happen, is I'm gonna have to fucking take this setup and move it back down into the base. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna fucking work for the 27th. But I'll get that shit. Wait, done. you mean we can't do it in your room on the 27th? Yeah, we all of us fucking six yeah. or seven fucking people in my room exactly like i don't have a fucking huge room you get what i'm saying the fucking back wall. <laughs> you can probably <laughs> touch it from where you're sitting i can actually <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> oh my gosh dude just imagine like <laughs> like if i didn't have to be quiet the like the kind of parties i could throw in my room like what are you fucking talking about yeah, what? look, look what? I agree with you, man. Yeah, what, what do you mean throw parties in your room? Yeah, what, what the, the fuck, fuck are you talking about? No, like it's a nice big space. Okay, our definition <laughs> of party may differ quite yeah. differ wildly, dude. No, like the like the nights that Zach used to have last year. He, Luke never came to one of those. He no, no, but you get, you get what I'm saying. Yeah, I guess, but like, I don't know, how, man. How many people it, is that? I mean, it was mid roughly between like maybe ten to twelve people. You could never fit ten people in your room, Austin. Yes, you could. Comfortably? You could no, comfortably no. Yes. But you could fit ten people in there. Austin does have a fucking like giant let's see. room. He would okay, have to hold move on. Let's around. let's just okay. Let's just how it's placed now. Let's count out how many seats I have. I have a recliner. You can fit my my bed is technically a day bed, so it doubles as a couch. That can fit three people on there, and then uh, and then you have my gaming chair. So that's another person. So that's that's already five seats, and then the that's recliner. not even taken up. 
That's not even taking up a majority of the Where room. You still have five yeah, more, but yeah. <laughs> by no, I'm just saying you could easily fit. Down. You can easily you know, fit more eight. chairs in here. Because like, oh, I forgot. Well, I have an office chair on the other side chairs. of the room. That's six. So yes. Every thing. Com comfortably, dog. Comfortably. Yes. Yeah, could everyone could sit in a big there. circle. Like, okay, buddy. Maybe. You're fucking. I'm thinking you're pushing max capacity at five. For That's a lot. No. More than that. Definitely uh, not. I, mean, I would say let's test it. I would say let's test it, what, but yeah, we don't have kind of not going on right here. now. Yeah, I mean, I was more so kind of talking a... about the COVID thing. Oh, but... I, meant, like, oh I was just saying we don't have friends. <laughs> yeah, what? This is why we do this I mean, there is that too. Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? It's speaking of uh, speaking of COVID, I uh, I found out the other day that one of my friends actually tested positive. He messaged me today, and he's like. Bro, I can't smell anything. I'm like, yeah, that's kind of fucked. And he's like, yeah, that's kind of fucked. <laughs> I'm like, COVID, man. He's like, yep. Yeah, it's true. This should do what? me a while. Dude, I don't want to get it. Like, I'm worried about losing my taste buds, honestly. That shit will suck. Or if I'll not be able to smoke. I don't know. That's the only part I'm worried about. I could so eat mask up pussy people. way easier if, like, it's like I catch COVID than just go eat some pussy. That's exactly what I was thinking. As soon as he said, it's like, doesn't have to smell. The first thing I jumped to was, dude, at least eating pussy is going to be fun. That's... If you have that problem, man, boom, solved. Oh, I got a big <laughs> nose, man. Like, it, like this shit just breathes in like nothing else. This shit gets air in. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> it's can't rough. Breathe. Dude, can't... my girl hopes I get COVID. Can breathe, can taste. Dude. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> fucking All right. So, so now it's story time because we've been meaning to talk about this for quite a while, like a few weeks, and we just haven't gotten to it yet. This is going to be the episode where we tell all the stories about all the bad customers that we've had. So... I, I'm. I know Luke and I have had quite a few bad customers. Zach, how many on a rough estimate do you say? Like, you have like a couple of them, a handful, small group. I have a shit ton. All You're right. Fucking kidding me. So I'm a here's how the stories are gonna go. Um, we'll choose someone to start. They'll tell one of the stories that they had. Then we'll move on to the next person, and then just that way, no one gets over. Uh, no one talks too much because that tends to happen. Um, so who wants to start? I'll pass for now. I just got to send this text out real quick. I can start. I don't mind. All right. Um, I'll tell one of my favorite stories. So I worked at an arcade uh, around the ages of 19 and 20, somewhere around there. And that job, mad fucking easy. Super sick. I very much enjoyed it because all I would do was I would just get super stoned and then just fucking go into work and I would just sit behind the counter sniking on fucking like uh just candy and shit. It's not just Hell a yeah. non stop it was lit. Mm, and so, candy. <laughs> this particular story comes from Easter. You know, relatively happy time or for most people. I had to work because I I don't know about you boys, but I work holidays because fucking yep. extra money. Mm, give me I mean, money. I I didn't do it for the extra money. I just did it because I got stuck on the schedule. Oh, I would I mean, specifically ask for fucking doubles. Like when I worked at the arcade, I'm like, Christmas, you need someone morning and night? I got you, my guy. Shut <laughs> the fuck up. It's but free anyway, money. I, so on Easter. Yeah, it, dude. Dude. <laughs> um uh it was like near the end of the shift um we were kind of all just like chilling out fucking vibing and we had we, we we had gotten a call about these dudes like early on harassing some chicks or whatever oh, we're kicked out fuck anyway we fucking we're just like chilling talking doing fucking whatever they come up to the counter, and they're like, 
Which one do you want to, which one of you bitches wants to get slapped? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you know, Charles or some shit. So, <laughs> Charles. Charles is like, Charles is, uh, I should explain, this man, just super small boy, just the fragilest man possible. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> yeah, uh, he he was like the dude closest to him, and like, he was like, like had his hand up, like about to slap him and shit, like looking like he was going to and shit. At that moment, there was, I think there was like three of him, like three of his friends and shit. And him. And then there was like four of us. And we were ready to fucking jump over the counter and just start swinging. You know, just fucking all out for all <laughs> Oh, yeah. We were ready, we were ready to fights. go. fights. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and sh shit never happened, but they. I remember that weekend in particular because I had seen them many a fucking times. And they just kept fucking just asking me for free shit. And I'm like, dog. If I fucking liked you, I would have give you free shit. Because I would give free shit to people. Like, I was an asshole. Yeah. I would 100% scamaz the company. I just feel like, hey, fucking, you want that? You don't have enough tickets? Here you go, buddy. Fucking just yoink it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Zach and... really be out here working for the small guys. <laughs> uh, dude, that was like the little enjoyment I got out of that job. was like making like some fucking person happy. It's like just fucking doing some small thing, and then I was like, "Fuck it!" I was like, "That's dope." <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that was a fucking dope <laughs> one. Fuck that kid. Yeah, that's what All I'm right, saying. Luke. That kid is fucking annoying. So, have we talked about the laptop, Karen, before here? The laptop charger? Nope. No. Nope. Can I? Oh my god. That yeah, was, so that was a fucking experience. I'll I'll start. We'll we'll talk uh based on who she interacted with. So uh yeah. Uh, um there's two parts. Which which one? Yep. Yeah. Uh I think I think I did a little so bit I'll, more in the second part. I can so you start it, yeah. No. Okay. So um Luke and I are both working at our store in the town where I live. And uh, it's it's a very lengthy store, and it's on. I mean, it's on the it's on the town square, but most of our clientele are just a bunch of boomers. So um, this lady comes in, and uh, she called on the phone and asked if we had laptop chargers. And I said, "Yes, we do." But before I could say, "But make sure you bring in the laptop," she uh, she hung up. So, because with these with these chargers, because we don't allow returns on them, we take them out of the box and plug them in and ensure that they work yeah, before sure the customer working. buys yeah. them. Yeah. So, uh, so she comes in and I go, "Hi, how's it going?" She's like, "Oh yeah, I called on the phone." I'm like, "Yeah." So over here is the are the are the laptop chargers that we have. Um, but do you do you happen to have the laptop with you? And she goes, oh, yeah, it's out in my car. I can just go and grab it. I'm like, all right, cool. So she turns around and goes out to her car and uh, grabs her laptop and brings it in. And we walk over to the chargers and I go, okay, it's right here. And she, uh, she looks at it and she looks at the price tag of $60 and goes, is there anything cheaper? I'm like, uh, and then she pointed to the one next to it, that which is a uh, Radio Shack branded charger. So she was like, that one's $50. I'm like, I mean, that one theoretically would work, but it doesn't have all the tips in it like this one does. Yeah. So, and those, those of you that don't know, laptop chargers change between, uh, between brands and between uh, models. So it this this kit that we sell for sixty dollars has all of the different tips except for the Apple tips because Apple. So I pull the Radio Shack one out of the package and I let's uh, go communism. And I, what? Um, yeah, I was, yeah, all right, I let's go communism in there. Let's go communism. I, I, I was listening. Uh, I'll talk about it later, but China number one. Kind of number one. So, um, 
<laughs> I don't know what he went off to grab, but um, fuck, I forgot fuck. where I was. Yeah, it's talking about the fucking. Uh, they didn't have all the fucking uh, shit on there for the sixty dollar one. Yeah, so um, I pulled it out and I was pulling the tips out of the out of the box and trying to plug them in, and none of them fit. So I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one's only gonna be funny if you watch the youtube version yeah <laughs> Otherwise, and those, for, the, for the for the audio <laughs> listeners uh, luke went into his into his room and grabbed a flag and walked out and then just spread it out in front of us that was it's an interesting story as to how i have that Okay. So anyway, if, if you knew me, yep. Go back. Go. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll add it add it to the yeah, podcast don't, topics. No, don't let me, don't let me go on a tangent. I'm yeah, just add it add it to topics. <laughs> so, um, so I I put that one away and I walk over and I grab the other one and she goes, "If it doesn't work, can I bring it back?" And I'm like, "No, we don't allow returns." <laughs> and that's why we, that's why we take it out of the box and plug it in and make sure it works here. So, yeah. and then she said, I don't really have the money for it. <laughs> so, well, no so, then, so then I, I, I just sort of, I was like, okay. And then she just sort of shuffled and I shuffled with her. And, Austin, you sure uh, your life isn't a porno? It sounds exactly like some porno I've seen. <laughs> As always, older women, dude. Yeah, it's a fucking boomer. So, um, so she sort of shuffles and I also sort of shuffle because I want to re- maintain distance from this woman. And eventually we're over at the counter and she sets her laptop down and looks at me. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll take it out of the package and plug it in. So I take it out of the package and I plug it in and it starts charging. Surprise, surprise. And, uh, and then... You know, we, I started, I've got it all packaged back up and, and then Luke walked out and I was like, uh, he, he mentioned that I had an iPhone repair and I was done help. I was done talking to this lady. So I just handed it to Luke. And I'm like, can you get started? Can, can you finish this up? I'm going to go and fix the phone. So I handed it off to Luke and went to the back. So, and, uh, yeah, I didn't need to do much because you pretty much, you explained everything to her talked about the policy and i just showed up made sure it plugged in i was like all right well it charges i threw it back in charger just rang her up everything went fine credit card rang through she signed she left and then how long was it before she came back i think the okay so she came back like an hour and a half two hours later um all right about right was it you or her that, or you or me that she dealt you or with? Her. <laughs> uh, initially, I think it was you who greeted her, uh, because I was in the back, um, like by the second repair desk, and she All came right. in, and I think she talked initially to you and asked to return it. Okay, so here's what happened. She walks in and she has the bag and the charger in her hand, and I. I think the same thing that I always think when someone walks in with something on their in their hands and a bag or a receipt, I'm like, "Fuck, it's a return. Returns are the worst." So, oh my god, she walks up to the counter, and uh, she sets it down. She goes, "This doesn't work. Uh, I'd like a refund." I'm like, "I was like, well, we can, we can issue, we can." take this one and give you a new one or uh uh but we can't return this and she's like it doesn't work it it i have to i you know obviously it's effective i I need to get a replacement i'm like well yeah because you just bought it today i'll replace it uh but i did have to take it out of the box and try to plug it in to you know verify that it doesn't work and i went to go and plug in the the cable to the converter box on the middle of the laptop chargers and it wouldn't plug in like it, like it was corroded or something. Yeah. I'm like, that's whack, but yeah, it looks like it's not charging. So we'll, uh, we'll go and grab one, a new one off the shelf and, and you'll be good to go. She's like, I don't know if they're new. I'm like, what? She's like, well, 
like you as, like you went over and and pulled it off how do i know that someone else didn't bring this back i'm like well well for one we don't accept returns and two <laughs> even if they did bring it back and it didn't work we wouldn't put it out on the shelf so um she was like i i just want my money back and i was like i'm sorry we can't do that we don't accept returns she's like no, you you accept returns. I'm like, I think I think at this point on... I had come up, I had come up front. Yeah, Luke Luke had come up front because we it was getting to be a, she was getting louder, and uh, so we uh, he was just sort of stand behind me as I continued to explain how we don't re- accept returns on these chargers, and then uh, at one point uh, after me saying no we don't accept returns and she just says i i would like my money back you have to give me my money back um she was like i'd like to speak to a manager and i i was like yep that's me how's it going <laughs> and and she's like oh you're the manager and i'm like yep and she's like so you have to help the customer right and i'm like no <laughs> we don't accept returns and she's like you have to accept returns um Hold on, to where specific. does it say we we do accept returns, but not on laptop chargers, and it says that on the receipt. And we showed her that, and she says, "Well, I no. didn't read the wait, receipt." Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. That was a little bit later. So oh, that was later. Okay. Yeah, that that it was coming up. So, okay. um, no, she when goes she came back for the return. You, oh, no. oh, it was a second. No, time? yeah, there was yeah. So we uh, I I she went over uh, fuck. Where was I at? <laughs> <laughs> so, this might be the um, most scout. This is probably said, the worst fucking episode after the fucking great one we just had with Jay. I feel <laughs> we so had a great one with Jay. Bad, man. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just too ran. high. We're, like I'm trying to feel a little, little high. Yeah, we're all pretty. I'm actually right now. crossed. In case you oh. missed my stream from Let's earlier go. today, I was getting drunk as shit. And ah. I ended the stream by doing a shot off a man's chest because he has a divot in his chest. Okay, I remember yeah. where we were. All right. Well, that seems like a pretty good Yeah, let's stream. go. Dude, so... just wait. The 27th. It's going to be it's way, way crazier. All right. So she said, You have to accept okay. returns. I'm like, We do accept returns within 14 days. Un- new, unopened, and with an exception of a bunch of the other, I- a bunch of items at the bottom. She's like, a bunch of uh, a bunch of stuff at the bottom. You have to specify. I'm like, well, a lot of them we do. One of them is laptop charger, actually, right here. And she- <laughs> and then she uh, she gets scolded and turned around and uh, said that she was going to call her credit card company on us. And, we said and good. left. So um, she walks out, gone for about half an hour, and then she walks back in, <laughs> stomps yeah, up to the this, counter. This is when I I think I took this <coughs> one. Well, oh, I, I remember starting with it, it was, uh, again. So uh, she just said, uh, I she walked up to the counter and went, I just got off the phone with my credit card company. They said I either need to get uh, go back in and pick up my pick up the item or get a receipt saying that I returned it. And I turned around and I grabbed it off the counter and I set it down in front of her and I reprinted the receipt and wrote her name on the receipt, just slapped it on the counter in front of her. I go, there you go, because we aren't giving you a receipt for return. Hmm. And then, uh, and then that's when Luke got involved because of a few things that she said. Yeah. What, what she just she called him the N word. No, she was going to walk <laughs> off. It seemed pretty all right, but then she said something. She said Where something she said? about like the the quality of products that we have. Yeah. And like, and fine. that really pissed Luke off. So then yeah, Luke snapped at her with something. I did. Yeah, because she said some dumb shit like, "Oh, you know, wish your products worked." It's like, "Wish <laughs> I'm a bitch." <laughs> no so so she said something along the lines of like these these products i don't know if they're new they might be you know broken and stuffed <laughs> into a box 
And that pissed Luke off. So Luke said, I, I hate no. dumb people, man. I really hate And then she dumb turned people. around. And this is where the arguments really started. So she uh, <laughs> she was like, oh, but blah, 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 blah. And Luke was like, yeah, but no. <laughs> it doesn't hmm. work that way. And uh, she's like, well, I can dispute this. And Luke held, I saw Luke had a receipt in his hand. Ooh, and I just, I, I looked over at him. I the counter and I was like, yeah. Well, he it went says over right here, bitch. And he, he, I saw the receipt in his hand, and I knew that he was going to tell her what I told him earlier, and that if she disputed it, then we could just show her signature on the bottom of the receipt, and she would be, you know, charged with uh, credit uh, check fraud. Yeah. So I'd love her to go to court with it. Honestly, I would love her to credit do card that. fraud. Yeah. Um, so they're, they're arguing and they're getting louder and louder. And then I'm just like, okay, this is just ex escalating way too much. I need to stop this. And I just, I just go, you need to leave. And she just sort of yeah. stumbles. She's like, Oh, <laughs> and then she, and then she opened her mouth. Like she was going to start talking again. And I just go, you need to leave. And, and then she's like, no, she shut wait. up and then turned and walked out of the store and I never saw her again. <laughs> but on Friday, she went to uh, our other store where our boss was. And uh, when he was there writing our checks, so she walks up and she starts complaining about her her visit in the store which is justifiable um granted she would have i mean by saying that i'm not saying that her arguing her point is justifiable i'm saying that her being able to talk about her visit was justifiable yeah so um she's talking about her visit or whatever and then all of a sudden she calls us crooks and liars and then and then uh our boss Set, had has had enough so he just uh he said he grabbed his reports and he said uh he he looked at her and he said i had enough here have a good day and then walked into the the back office to do his his reports and uh apparently according to our other co-worker she uh she stood outside the door which is a very awkward spot to stand and it's very in, it's very noticeable that she's intending to stand there just waiting for him to come out of the door so then um after standing there for a while she wandered over to the desk and uh stood at the desk for a little bit and then uh and then she turned and left he literally just hid in the back room and did his reports until she left. A little man. And might I add, he did not mention any of this to me at all. Meaning, yeah. my boss got my back. True. You're in there, man. Luke, did you just delete all the shit that I changed? What? No. <laughs> I, I don't even have the fucking thing open, so. Hey, Zach, you can go ahead and tell another uh, okay. story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, get, okay. oh. I get a pretty good one. So, <clears throat> another time at the Kalahari. So, it was very common for um, people to get drunk and shit. And just come stumbling the fuck in. And just be like, what? This fucking game! Ate my fucking credits. Got all my fucking shit. <laughs> like, I'm like, the majority of the time, it would just be, I, I'd just be like, cool, calm, collected, don't. And be like, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm like, I'll fucking even put a little bit extra on there. I'm like, I fucking got you, my guy. I was literally the worst fucking employee. <laughs> 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 but. Um, <laughs> this, I had, 
I I had this one family uh, come up to the counter one day, and um, this dad, super pissed off, <laughs> super super pissed off, fucking goes up. He's like, "Hey, I need to fucking speak to a manager right away." I'm like, "I'm like, hey man, I mean, whatever the manager can fucking help you with, I could probably do it, and I'm right here. We don't have to fucking go get someone. I'm like here." <laughs> and he's like, "No, I want to fucking speak to a manager." I'm like, "I'm like, okay." And I fucking look over at my coworker Charles. I'm like, I fucking nod to him to go fucking go back and get one. And I'm like, "All right, what's what's happening, Chief?" <laughs> you give As him I continue the nod. to talk to him. Yeah, I, I'm like, because we were homies and shit, so I could just be all like, he knows what's up. Charles was my bitch, essentially. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've, I've heard the there. stories that you've told. <laughs> and so, we... <laughs> <laughs> He's going back to go get a manager, and I'm I'm talking to this dude. I'm like, alright, man, what's, what's your problem or whatever? And he's like, this fucking game's rigged. And this day, I really wasn't having it, like most days. Uh, I was like, yeah, all the games here are rigged. I'm like, big shot. <laughs> buddy. I was I was going to say, everyone knows that. It's not something that's uh, like a super big secret. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, they are. And he's like, I want my fucking money back or some shit. I'm like, hey, whoa. he's like, I'm like, well, why? And he's, I'm like, what, what, what game's rigged? And he's like, it's... <laughs> It's this fucking. You ever play the jump rope one with the fucking uh, red shit at the bottom? It I have that no. fucking game. Okay, uh, it was that fucking game. Just super generic shit. You can actually uh, little hack on that one. You can just uh, put one foot on it, put half your weight on it, and just lift that shit up instead of doing a full jump or some shit, and just get the jackpot that way. It's pretty cheesy. <laughs> but... We're getting the insider info, <laughs> dude. I could do an entire podcast on just like arcade fucking shit. <laughs> this shit was wild. And he was like, "My son's a fucking expert on this game. I th he fucking wins all the time." I'm like, "There's no fucking way that you're lying. You're capping right now, bro. You're not even <laughs> capping." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he's saying it's rigged, but his son wins it all the time. Therefore, yeah, it's not rigged. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, bad. Yeah, he was. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, okay, buddy, whatever. And their manager comes out and fucking talks to him and shit. And then I kind of just like go off and like wipe down the counter or some shit just to fucking <laughs> not deal with it anymore. Yeah, this shit was wild, man. This shit happens so fucking often. Yeah, dude, no, why are there so many suck. bad customers, dude? Like That's what I'm saying, bro. Th that poor, lonely retail worker just trying to pay for his beef jerky. Leave him alone. Just want some Jack Lynx. I'm mean, just trying to fucking make minimum wage. Yeah. Or even sometimes a, a little bit above that. Oh, I want to show the chat something. The chat. We're not streaming. <laughs> We're not live, you, Luke. YouTube. Sorry, my terminology is incorrect because I'm stoned. Though, if you would mind. like us, if you if you would like us to make a small member squad live stream channel, yeah. okay, yeah. buddy. Get this, get this to fifty we likes. Yeah, hey, I'd actually. This. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> I remember you telling me that shit. Okay. This was left for Linden by a customer uh, who decided to come into our store and get some DVDs. Uh, it's Ken O'Keefe on 9-11. Ken O'Keefe? What, were it, what was he talking about? Copy and share with friends and patriots. And then it gives me a link where to copy it. <laughs> so <laughs> that's fucking he, funny uh i i have to watch this at some point but i assume it's some 9-11 conspiracy dude bullshit, don't put I that in your wait. computer at all oh no i'm gonna use one of my junk ass <laughs> computers bro for sure yeah <laughs> no way is my regular one going to be used no way just fucking plug <laughs> Oh man, remember when that happened at some like 
high-end government agency. Some guy just found yeah. a flash drive and plugged it in and infected the entire mainframe. Happens all the time. I don't get it. <laughs> oh, man. Imagine still using floppies. <laughs> just hold it up with a magnet, bro. That's how they fucking did, held yeah, it dude. up back in the day. I remember there was... <laughs> This, I think I originally saw it on iFunny, and it was like a, a floppy drive magnetized to the do fridge with a sticky shit. note. It's like, it's OS installed, do not erase. Under, and it was like double underlined and shit, call caps, Jesus Christ. written in a Sharpie. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Obviously, about, it could like, be just a fake thing, but at the same time, it could be something real. Do you ever think? Yeah, well, yeah. Do you ever think about like how like, like when we created like a uh, nuclear like shit, like back in like the sixties or seventies and shit. Yeah, the forties. The tech. Oh yeah, or just the technology that still fucking ran with that and shit, and just like how fucking old that shit is and like compared to like the shit that we use now because they aren't upgrading it at all because it would take too yeah. much fucking shit so they're just maintaining the old shit that shit's wild man i still love to to point out that the computing power that we have in our smartphones are more powerful than the computers that they had in the entire building to launch the first space shuttle into the space <laughs> actually no, i think it was land on the moon, land on the moon. those mans hit some so. fucking big brains because you imagine just doing mm -hmm. math like that <laughs> yeah fucking, that's just crazy to, you have to have your like the math equations pre, pre like pre-thought out so you can just punch it into the computer and then let they it sit inventing. for like a week they were literally yeah. inventing math dude everything to do with nasa is insane if you want dude, to study like how it got done, oh my god, there's so much, there's so much. Dude, too bad that shit was faked. Yeah, that's where all the money dude, went. We dude. never landed high on production the value. Yeah, they just knew they were gonna create movies about it down the line. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Luke. Oh yeah. Funny. Let me talk about one goddamn thing that I am actually really fucking upset about recently. And that is conspiracy theorists and basic everyday life. I hate anti-maskers. I hate QAnon. Sorry. That fucking... That group, I see their stickers all the time. Everywhere. They're, they think that Trump is secretly killing pedophiles and shit. Isn't What's that a one good YouTube thing, though? You showed me where, like, that dude just goes on Twitter and talks shit about the maps or some shit. Oh my god, that crazy <laughs> ass dude! Yeah, some that... guy walked into my store. He has he gave me his YouTube channel. Like, I get what he's trying to say. Wait, it was a customer's YouTube channel? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, he it's in... literally the yeah, cringiest thing town. ever. Yeah, I in... thought yeah. it was going to be, like, some high production value shit. I was no, like, hmm, this is going to be some shit to watch. <laughs> no. Right. Dude, I... Dude. Awesome. It's right. Actually. Like, what Luke, he's trying to say it. is right. Like, it's anti-maps, which is good. Like, fuck maps. <laughs> They're terrible. True. But he is so cringy about it. It is it's terrible. <laughs> it's like imagine like your average Redditor. He is essentially just the fucking biggest Redditor. Like I've I've seen the dude a couple of times down at like a card shop. Oh and <laughs> right. literally every time he fucking asks me to like play or some shit i'm like dog nah i can't fucking do it nah get the fuck out of here gee okay hold on uh, before we get too far off topic the whole like yeah. anti-mask thing brings up yeah. another customer that came into the store so i was sitting in the back eating my pizza and linen was how was talking to customers and i could see it on camera and I look down to continue to watch my YouTube video while I eat. And then all of a sudden I hear some shouting through the door, through the wall. I'm like, the fuck? I look at the camera and this guy is like pointing at Linden. And then as he's like, you can, you can see 
by how he was standing that he was shouting at Lyndon. I'm like, Jesus Christ, what the f- what is going on out there? So then I put down my pizza and start walking out there and and you know, obviously I put on my mask before I get out and right as I walk out, he's walking through the door and he, as he was street, he called our he called our uh he he was like, Damn you for enforcing the mask mandate and damn this damn governor antichrist governor and then the uh, door yes. closed. We couldn't hear him Anti-Christ anymore. Christ because you pe- because you put a piece of plastic covering with the intent to try and save other people. You are in fact the Antichrist. I am going to keep wearing <laughs> you are also after this pandemic sheep. is done. Wake up, just people. to make people mad. Wake up, wake up, sheeple. I think you know Alex. I want to. I want to discuss back. this. Yes, he does. I wish okay. he could get a platform again. Just so can he we could talk be about like if I think. This is how conspiracy theories should go. If you're dumb enough to fucking believe a conspiracy theory, like, 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 let's say you fucking join the fad or their group, you should just go to those people's house. Like, the government should just go up, just fucking shoot them. Shoot them in the fucking head. <laughs> or make sure they can't fucking have kids. That's why. If I'm down Karen for the no kids. Facebook it's can figure this kind of information out, why can't the government, who has yeah. massive amounts of resources... And, pla- and how does the dude? The FBI is definitely planning misinformation everywhere. Okay, no. Oh, so yeah. here's here's my thoughts so on on conspiracy. Doing. Here's my thought on conspiracy theorists. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, when it comes to stuff like you know national health, not cool. But any other time, super entertaining. Like not gonna lie, no cap. Just like go and listen to some guy rant about how aliens exist and they abducted Charlie two down two doors down. It, it's, it's just well, see that's hilarious. why I like fucking Alex Jones. Yeah. Alex Jones was talking about how they're, there's they're chemicals putting in the fucking chemicals water. in the water to turn the frogs gay. Or my favorite, there's interdimensional vampire pedophilic vampires that run the government. Yep, reptilians, <laughs> reptilians. Yeah, I f- Bro, dude, he I really needs to fucking come back. It's kind I of want, shitty that he's I, banned on everything. I want to explain the life that I was raised in, right? So, mm-hmm. first of all, my mom is anti-vax. Um, so growing up, and she wasn't originally. Little context: she was a EMS, and then she went to the army to be a nurse, and then came back mm-hmm. and worked in a lab. So she has over 20 plus years in the medical field. And then I was born uh, really sick. Um, They told her she couldn't have kids. And so I was born. And then my brother was born, obviously autistic. So I was born with asthma, eczema. I was allergic to milk, nuts, uh, cats, (laughs) dogs. Nuts. Yeah, nut. Um, But I I spent... I spent my third birthday in an air tent. Like, I was pretty fucked up. I, I couldn't barely breathe. Um, you were Bubble she, Boy? Yeah, hell yeah, I was Bubble Boy. You ever watched that movie? That movie's fucking wild. Dude, it's shitty, and, but... Yeah, it sucks. It it really sucks. Like, <laughs> it's so funny, though. I, I still remember that shit, dog. Like, yeah. I was just trying to watch Sesame Street, and I couldn't <laughs> hear it. And I asked my mom to, like, unzip the tent, and I still remember that shit. It fucks with my That's head. fucked, yeah. Yeah, but, Leon's... and that's how I used to be. But my mom, she she didn't vaccinate us. She went she? completely health food, and she cured all my shit. I don't have asthma. I don't have eczema. I don't have any allergies anymore. My brother, he went from being, like, didn't even exist, autistic, to, you, you know, you've met, I think you guys have met Tony at some point. I have not I have. met him I don't in think person. I have. Oh, yeah. He's, he's fully functional. He's he's got a full time job, has his own apartment, graduated high school by himself. Like, he's doing good. And so I was like, holy shit! Whatever my mom says must be right, because all these people told her she was wrong. But look at that. Um, and so she also was a conspiracy theorist. Like during that time people she was working with to get Tony better were doing like experimental things like with the, in the medical field and some were getting uh some were dying uh pretty pretty close to each other uh, in a very close amount of time and were they killed were they not I don't know um 
but it was happening quite frequently and with a lot of people um and it happened often so i grew up in a world where there was like people dying around her with like all the stuff that she was doing so i was living on edge already and she was like oh yeah the government all fucked it's like this cabal definitely exists all these guys pedophiles like she's like you got to be prepared and then i got out into the real world man yeah and then i didn't see shit Mm -hmm. i was like if this existed this would have to be covered up so much like dude it it it, it the level that not the shit would have yeah right it would be literally impossible for them to fucking cover this this is coming from somebody who has experienced mass amounts of conspiracy theory i can see around it all now like uh, this Q anon shit that's being spread around like fucking wildfire is that Trump is fighting this cabal made of Democrats, uh, Hollywood actors, whatever, um, just like elite people, rich people. Um, are some of them pedophiles? Probably. Uh, is there like a mass? Dude, conspiracy? once people get money, Probably dude. Not. Do they do weird know. shit? Yeah, do I think there's a lot of weird fucking people out there and that the internet has a lot to contribute to that? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, But do I think that people are falling for mass hysteria created by loopholes and algorithms in websites? Absolutely. Uh, They have more time to be at home because of this corona shit, and that makes them agitated and they need somebody to blame, and the government is a perfect scapegoat because it's a faceless figure that you can't see. So... They feel like they feel like warriors trying to fight against something, and all they do is go to shops and yell at employees that make nine bucks an hour on why they're uh, because they wear a mask, why they're supporting pedophiles. Wake up, like, America! Wake up! Flash! <laughs> oh shit! Flash! 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 I th- that dude. Speaking of Flash, that was the main reason I became friends with Austin. <laughs> what? Like, it was like, dude, he just has a sick dog. Flash Man. is a mad homie. So I'm surprised so Austin really hasn't gotten bitches with Flash. Yeah, that's I'm surprising. I'm, I'm surprised. Yeah, I'm surprised. Game is so I'm shit. surprising. <laughs> Uh, I'm Dude, surprised. My game, my game is negative twenty. Dude, Tia <laughs> is a fucking chick magnet. My dog. I can believe that. Dude, Tia fucking eats it up. I'm like, let's fucking go. He loves the cuddles. Loves yeah, the Tia pets. Dope. I fucking love. Literally, that will sit on top of you. Yeah, I love it. She's a wild. She's fucking dope. Uh, dude, I, dude, would I ever tell you guys the first time we ever got her? Um, this is a short little story, but when we first got her, I was playing Yu-Gi-Oh! a shit ton. Uh, speaking of that card shop, I would go down there literally every weekend. As soon as I would wake, I'd wake up at like 10 o'clock, and then I'd fucking drive down there and fucking spend there all fucking day till like 6 or 7 or some shit. I just continued grinding Yu-Gi-Oh! Because I was a fucking gamer, man. I just constantly playing. Gamer. And so, I I can't, I ran home just to go grab... I think I left some of my trading shit at home because I never took that shit with me. I just, I'm lazy and don't want to carry extra shit. So I you ran home. You still like that? And, yeah. I ran home <laughs> and my parents were like, Hey, we got this fucking new dog, and at the time she was very she's fat now. She's like a chonky girl now. She at the time chonky. she was very uh, slim and muscular, and my friends I couldn't were even like, yeah, picture she, that. Oh, I'll, I'll send you some pictures of it. She it looks wild, but um, she um, she had come from like an abusive household. Uh, she was abused and shit. Uh, so she was very skeptical of men in particular. And she's still like that today. Uh, a little bit less now. We've definitely, she's definitely kind of open to people because she likes the attention and shit. <laughs> but back then, it was pretty rough to introduce her to people. Um, so I, I quickly run in. I quickly, like, you know, meet her for a bit. And then, like, I, I leave. Like, I was just, like, fucking there for a bit. Leave. My parents were like, hey, uh, we're not going to be back by the time you get 
like home. So you're gonna have to fucking just we're just gonna leave her out so she can, you know, explore and shit. So good luck with that. Hope she doesn't fuck you up. I'm like, what the God damn, okay. <laughs> And so I get home. She she kind of growled at me a bit, but then she realized I was friendly. And then she cuddled the fuck up with me. I'm like, oh, you big baby. Oh, yeah, from the beginning, dude. Yeah, she's, a, she's been a fucking baby since day one. <laughs> That's what I love about her, man. Animals are so fucking dope. Also, something else that yeah. I think that is super funny is that mm-hmm. right now, Zach is literally just a disembodied head floating in it's the darkness so fucking, with the japanese and text, and it's yep funny. and the text <laughs> yeah it's I, I i was being a real fucking sad boy before this but i got some kind of good news after the podcast today i'm getting some nudes sent to me so that's pretty Let's sick go. oh it went well i see the hangout <laughs> <laughs> yeah man good job buddy it's Hey, thanks, bro. I'm not gonna officially announce anything yet, but maybe. Can we get some, some pog point. champs in the pog in champs. the comments down below? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we should really fucking. All right. <laughs> so it looks like I was planning to do this with Austin when he got his uh, first, you know, <laughs> date with a, uh, you know, whenever. We, we should just time. fucking record Austin's first date. Live. Like I just we wear just a GoPro. No, 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 like, we're just, we're not even, we're in the background, like, stalking you or some shit. <laughs> Paparazzi, that shit. Oh, yeah. It would be, no, it'd no. be so funny. Oh, shit. If... That but that's what we're gonna do to you. That's what we're gonna do to you now. Uh, we're just gonna, like, whenever you guys go out on a date, we're just gonna get a bunch of people, just be like, yo, is that Young Lef? Holy, Holy shit. shit. Young Lef? Holy oh, shit, holy it's Young God. Lef? Will you sign my titties, bro? Holy <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's the man of the people. I am. <laughs> yep. The, yeah, that'd be fucking mad funny, actually. We'll get we'll get you in no time, buddy. That show would be. I think we we gotta oh my gosh. Pepper off at this point. Yo, that's what I'm yo, saying. Just imagine, Dude, like we great. roll up. Just imagine we roll up. I have a gimbal, like I have the sta- <laughs> the phone stabilizer. <laughs> just oh, run up yeah. and start recording right <laughs> in his face. That'd be great. Oh. We actually use that for work. Luke, yeah. on uh, on Monday, we put up a uh, we put up an ad on the Facebook page, and I used that the the stabilizer for the shot. Sick. I mean, the ad was garbage, but <laughs> but the camera work was wow. good. Wow. Oh, <laughs> Owen Wilson fucking sucks as an actor. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Lightning McQueen, I, yeah. what are you talking about? His star performance? Are you I gonna I, overlook that? He only did it in what two of the movies? Kachow, motherfucker! That's all I have to say to you. Kachow, Kerchiker, <laughs> Kachigama. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I, that's what I was thinking in my head, and I just didn't say it. <laughs> yeah, I'd avoid. It. I think we should stop. I like that's that we as all far as I it. took it. <laughs> yeah, I think we we should all stop all before we get demonetized. <laughs> Bro, you don't think this is demonetized just by how ugly a face is? You think we make money off this? <laughs> you think there's ads on this shit? You stupid motherfucker. Who do you yeah, think you are, some just, big shot? Yeah, we're literally taking rips on stir- <laughs> I said stir- God damn it. <laughs> maybe. There's just a bunch of streamers better, talking. Maybe we would be better streamers if we had more energy. Maybe we should Dude, drink, actually maybe, kinda... maybe we should drink some Raise mm. Energy. Raise Energy. Podcast. Austin, tell more Seamless about it. transition into tell the Tell more ad. about it, Austin. <laughs> Talk so to this them. this raise packet right here contains more energy than any energy drink that I have ever drank before. That's. I also that's think it's pretty. Shirt. It's zero sugar as well, so no sugars added to your diet. Nope. It'll it last you like. Is it? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. There's some dude at work that fucking drinks some, so and he's on keto, so they're pretty good. 
I mean, it doesn't okay, say anyway, it on there, on. but whatever. But yeah, thanks, Ryan, um, for sponsoring this video. This podcast, podcast. episode. <laughs> um, one, one packet lasts me like five or six hours. It, they last forever. So I should take like two of them just to fucking knock me out. <laughs> so I can die. Just put myself into a Actually, coma. Actually, speaking of their sleep, like knocking yourself out, dude, their sleep solution. Mm -hmm. 10 out of 10 would recommend if you have sleep problems. I might have to pick some up. I can't sleep very well at night. Yeah, just like, just pick up one and try it. It it's not gonna do. Actually, do you like cinnamon rolls? That's the only, that's the only thing I don't like about the the sleep mixtures is the flavors that they come. It's like Very cinnamon rolls limited. and what? There's what's the other one? Sour like gummy sour worms. worms. Yeah, I, I like yeah. I like cinnamon rolls. Uh, I guess. All I right, because I got a couple rolls, of those. Yeah. I can. I gave them to my mom. Sure. Mom's not drinking them, so I'll just grab one. Yo, I'll try one. That they sound pretty good. Uh, I think I only like because I want my mom to try it, and there's only two left. When you order some new ones, just let me know. I'll grab some off you. If you yeah, I think with the uh, next dude, I still don't know where <laughs> I can get my fucking code for the podcast. Yeah, well, I, I don't yeah. know. It just showed up in my email. I like well, it's I it's not in any of the emails that I've gotten from them. Should, should you, can you just email them and ask them what our code is? Or, uh, you could you know. It? Well, I mean, maybe. But I set my code. Like it's, yeah, like I mean, I we can email, email them, and then they, they might be like, oh, yeah, here's yeah. where you can set your code. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I I um, I got sent an email like being sent, hey, here, you can see when your code's been used and shit, how much you've made so far. It's dope. <laughs> That's cool. And you know I'm gonna I, be using that code quite a bit. <laughs> I actually like their shit. I I really want to buy like, shit ton of cases for it, like from yeah. I I like, really you guys ever have that like, limited edition flavor that you wish was available year round? Mm-hmm. Yep, Apollo. Yeah, it's a good one. Sweet. That's a solid fucking choice. I like All the right. voodoo one. You know? Good ad. Yeah. Anyway. Thanks, Ray's. What's the What's the new podcast? What's the new topic we got? I haven't actually looked at the dog. Oh, should we talk about Lodi Austin? About Lodi. What? <laughs> uh, when I hung out with the chick. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what? Huh? I'm so confused. How fucking high are you, man? <laughs> Holy no, it's shit. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, Zach messages me out of the blue on like uh, Thursday night or something. Yeah. And uh, he goes, Yo, I hate asking this. I actually feel really bad for asking this, but could you like. Pick me up and take me over to this chick. I'm like, all right. He's like, really? That's it? No questions asked? I'm like, yep. <laughs> that's what I love about Austin, man. Austin's a homie. I actually well, did the same thing with Heath. So uh, Heath was the one that tested positive for COVID, and uh, yeah, he had a he had a leak in his roof. <laughs> so he sent that he sent it like that. He's like, great, and it was like a a video of it dripping from the ceiling and he just got his result back. So he, he's quarantining for the next at least 14 days. And, uh, though thus he can't go to a store to buy the roof patch. So I was like, Hey, you want me to pick up some roof patch for you? He's like, Oh my gosh, really? Would you? I'm like, yep. So then, uh, <laughs> Drop that off on my way to work today. Hell yeah. I'm just out yeah. here trying to be helpful. We were drive, and this was like a 30 minute drive or some shit. It yeah. Kind of. You know, I respect the fuck out of Austin for doing this. Mad fucking homie to him. 
the number one cocksucker for me. I'll suck his wiener any day, anytime he wants. I don't give a fuck what time it is. He could call me at 3 a.m. saying, hey, I need my dick sucked. <laughs> I'll be over there in a flash, homie. But No, I just knock on your window. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, so, for I'm those so of you who don't know, me. Zach, yeah. up until recently, had shared a window with uh, with the garage. It's like there's like a wall that's put up and like the the window like if you stick your arm through the the little slot between the window and the wall you can high five someone that's in the pool uh the, the, the ping, pong ping pong table room, room. Yeah, it was so cool. but he has a he has an actual window now so people can <laughs> actually see into his room and like yeah. creep him the fuck out it's whack, I'll be honest. Like, I, I'm getting blinds put up here soon, so I won't have to worry about that too much more. But, like, you know, it's still, it's like, a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it, yeah. It'll be whack. But, yeah. Anyway, we fucking... So we get to this fucking small-ass town. And <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'll be perfectly honest, and I didn't get the chick's number beforehand. I was just like, oh yeah, we'll just have fucking data in the town. Like, <laughs> yo, why the fuck wouldn't we? Like, yeah, I'll just, fucking just, slap, I'll just slap on my hotspot, and then uh, yeah. you can connect is to that, it and message her. Isn't it fucking Lodi where there's no service at all? Yep. <laughs> yep, we learned that one the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I we, punched so, in the GPS before we left. Yeah. So, or no, I I punched in Lodi, and then uh, as we got closer, Zach punched in the actual address, and we're like, "Oh, hey, we're really close. We're like three blocks away." So, I, like, you get close, and obviously the GPS isn't one hundred percent accurate. Like, it doesn't deliver you right to the front door of the house. So we had to Majority. look for like numbers. So it was dark out. We can't see any numbers. There's no mailbox that has any numbers. Oh, no. There's no, like, post with the fucking numbers on there. There's nothing. It's <laughs> awful. Like, but I followed I followed Google Maps instructions and turned into this per this this driveway of this person. Yeah. And and then we like we pulled up and and we were like, okay, let's I, I put it in park and I turned off the lights and I uh I was like, all right, let me just turn on my hotspot and you can message her. So I go to turn on my hotspot. Zach connects to it, but he doesn't get any messages. <laughs> no data connection for me, which means no hotspot connection for him. Oh. We just sit there and then for like 15 minutes. minutes. Like, yeah. We're like... What the fuck do we do? Like, do you just go up and knock on the door? We're like, nah. I was like, we came up with like, where's the nearest McDonald's? McDonald's? Let's go find a McDonald's or something. Yeah, some free that's Wi-Fi. Exactly what I was thinking. So right? we get out, we out. back out of this long ass like driveway. Yeah. Start driving, drive a few blocks, reach the end of the end of the town, and then we turn, went back turn pulled into a quick trip parking lot and we're like is there even a mcdonald's up here so i go to pull out my phone to you know search it and it doesn't no data connection <laughs> so i'm like well bud looks like we're doing this the hard way the the gps says this is this this house number we're gonna have to pull up and you're gonna have to fucking knock on the door so we go back yeah. and it leads us to the same exact driveway. So I'm like, all right, this is probably the house. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, champ, you go get her. <laughs> and let me tell you, this is the first time I'm meeting this chick. Like I had talked to her and shit, like in video calls and shit. But like in person, the shit was, I was so fucking nervous. I, I was so scared that like, anybody else would have answered the door i think i would have like we i think i would have just fucking like turn and ran yeah just ghosted her at that point I would have been <laughs> <laughs> but we fucking get there you know i knock and she comes out i'm like oh, shit, 
thank fucking god. I was like, thank fucking god, bro. I'm like, hell yeah. It was a struggle to get here. Yeah, uh, dude, I fucking told her about it. I'm like, but she bought us food. So yeah, I can't bought us some Macdons. That's what's up. Yeah, and then we spent the rest of the night at my place watching horror movies till like 4 a.m. or some shit. Which ones? And then she, uh, we watched Ash vs. the Evil Dead. Or sorry, not Ash vs. Evil Dead. Evil Dead, the original. Yo, Flat. Zach be talking kind of sus, not gonna lie. What? Okay. <laughs> T- getting this we story all Dead. mixed up. Yeah, we watched Evil Dead, and then we watched um, House of a Thousand Corpses, which is one of my favorite horror movies. It's a, a Rob Zombie movie. It's really fucked up. It's good. Highly recommend it. Uh, but yeah, other than that, we just kind of fucking chilled out and then hung out the next day. Just fucking reviving, man. It was dope. It was generally one of the better week or like two days I had. It was sick. All right, what the fuck else do we even do? All right. Shit? I think that's, that's going to be it this time. Thank God. Seems about yeah, I think... We we just, we is, had dude, this episode was yeah this one was a fucking filler arc. Bro. We're say, still catching up. We we started we started here, kind of got up to like here, and then went back down to here. And this is where we are now. <laughs> but then we're and and you know the so we're gonna be hold on a, hold on I. the uh, during Jay's uh, when Jay's was here, uh, our energy was. It went straight up backwards because, like, we were so energetic before he even got on the podcast. And then we were just full yeah. energy the entire time, out of frame energy. And then we ended it and we still get, went for another, like, half an hour. And then and then we all went to bed. Yeah. yeah. We're probably um, all going uh, to bed right after like, this, right? I am. What was that? Well, I'm, I'm going to bed after this. I'm going to bed after this. I'm probably yeah, I gotta, I get to work God, in the morning. Fucking oh, we're fucking sucks. lame. I also <laughs> wait. You're working alone Sunday. Yep. That's oh, I thought Lyndon was. It's either gonna be okay. terrible, uh, or it's gonna be terrible. It's either gonna be yeah. nobody or everybody. There is no in between. Um, <laughs> yep. some closing notes. Check out everyone's social media down in the description, as well as. Just a reminder, episode 12, if you get it to 10 likes, we'll remake the high school videos and actually have an incentive to do so. Uh, 15, if you want to see Zach's cringy videos. And if you get this episode, episode 15 to 50, we'll start live streaming these. What was that? I was going to say 15 is a little low. (laughs) Yeah, 5-0. Yeah, okay. Anyway, pussies. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Bye. Oh, wait. Later. Wait, last little note. Shout out to Keanu for subscribing. Love you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you fucked up saying subscribing. Shut up, Subscribe bitch. Subscribe. <laughs> All right. I'm going to fuck you. All Subscribe right. in the Bye. description below. Bitch. Bye.